Quite often, you may find a large blister at the area of an insect bite, which lasts for several days. So what should you do if you are bitten? And is there a reliable way to protect yourself from insect bites? Some bites may be painless, but some other may cause complications and so require medical attention. To understand the danger of the bite in time, you should know about the 10 most common types of insects. Before we move on, make sure to subscribe to the channel so that you don't miss the new videos. And our team will do their best to reward your trust. Mosquito Perhaps it's the most common insect, so literally everyone has been bitten by it at least once in their life. Mosquito bite marks look like pink circles. If you scratch it hard, the mosquito's saliva may spread in a wider area and lead to allergic reactions causing swelling. One remedy for an annoying mosquito bite may also be one of your favorite breakfasts. Oatmeal can relieve itching and swelling because it contains special compounds that have anti-irritant qualities. Make an oatmeal paste by mixing equal amounts of oatmeal and water in a bowl until you have a speckle-like substance. Spoon some paste onto a washcloth and hold it paste side down on the irritated skin for about 10 minutes. Then wipe the area clean. If you have many bites, try an oatmeal bath instead. Sprinkle one cup of oatmeal or ground oats into a bathtub full of warm water. Soak in the oatmeal bath for 20 minutes, occasionally rubbing some of the clumped oatmeal onto irritated areas of your skin. Another effective folk remedy against mosquito bites is honey. This sugary sweet substance is a common pick among home remedy enthusiasts because it has many antibacterial and anti-inflammatory properties. It has been used for hundreds of years as a treatment for sore throats, bumps and bruises. A small drop on an itchy bite can reduce the inflammation. It should reduce your temptation to itch, as itching skin covered with honey can create a sticky mess. Tick First of all, beware of the forest tick, as it's a carrier of dangerous diseases like tick-borne encephalitis. A person bitten by a tick may not feel the bite immediately. Sometimes the signs of it appear only a few days later. If you see redness and a black or red dot at the area of the bite, then you should immediately visit your doctor. If you cannot do it right away, there are several ways to remove a tick at home. First of all, the tick can be pulled out with a string. Make a small loop, put it over the body of the insect and then pull it out, moving it gently from side to side. Another method is to use tweezers or a special clip for removing ticks, which can be purchased at the pharmacy. When using the instruments, make sure that the body of the insect doesn't rupture during the extraction. Then the area of the bite should be treated with any antiseptic. Fly A fly bite not only causes intense pain and the appearance of a red spot, but also poses a great danger to human health. Fly bites need to be treated fast, as the insect may be a carrier of tularemia, also known as rabbit fever. The symptoms of this dangerous disease are skin ulcers, headache, and as the name suggests, fever. Right after the bite, to prevent serious negative consequences, it's necessary to take preventive measures. The wound should be immediately rinsed with water and treated with antiseptic solutions such as hydrogen peroxide or chlorhexidine. B. For most people, a bee sting is just a small nuisance. You may experience temporary sharp pain, swelling, redness, warmth, and itching at the sting site, but no serious complications. But if you're allergic to bees or you get stung multiple times, bee stings can be more problematic. They can even be life-threatening. When a honeybee stings you, its stinger is released into your skin. This ultimately kills the honeybee. If a bee stings you, it leaves behind a venomous toxin that can cause pain and other symptoms. Unless you're allergic to bees or experiencing signs of a severe allergic reaction, you can treat most bee stings at home. If a honeybee stings you, remove the stinger immediately with the edge of your fingernail or the edge of a credit card. This helps curb the amount of toxins released into your skin. Wash the sting site with soap and water. Icing the sting site is the most effective way to reduce venom absorption. It also can help reduce swelling. Most home treatments for bee sting symptoms are not supported by scientific research. Yet they've been passed down for generations. Such home remedies as honey, baking soda, or apple cider vinegar may help relieve bee sting symptoms. Ant Each ant can sting more than once, so you'll probably have a lot of bites. People can have different reactions such as itching, a swollen foot or arm, or even a severe allergic reaction that needs immediate medical care. It's normal to have a small itchy lump, which usually gets better in 30 to 60 minutes. Within 8 to 24 hours, you may get a small blister filled with fluid that looks like pus. It's actually dead tissue. Some people have larger reactions around the sting. For example, one on your arm might cause your whole arm to swell. 
If you're okay apart from that, you can start the following treatment on your own and then see your doctor. Use an ice pack or put the ice in a towel to ice the sting off and on, 15 minutes on, 15 minutes off. Don't put the ice directly on your skin and don't use heat. Raise the part of your body where you got stung to reduce swelling. Take an antihistamine and use hydrocortisone cream to relieve itching. A severe allergic reaction is rare, but it can be life-threatening. Symptoms include hives, cramping in your gut with nausea or diarrhea, tightness in your chest, breathing difficulties, dizziness and swelling of your tongue or throat. In these cases, call the ambulance. The best way to deal with ant bites is to prevent them, so stay away from fire ant nests. Be careful when you mow the lawn or work in your garden. Call an exterminator to check for and get rid of fire ant nests around your home. Wear shoes and socks when you walk outside. Wear gloves when you work in your garden. Once you have had a reaction to a fire ant sting, you have a 60% chance of having a similar or worse reaction if you are stung again. Wasp. Although it's believed that wasps are most aggressive in the fall, you still may be stung by them in the summer. A wasp sting leads to very painful sensations, headache, fever, and burning and swelling in the affected area. First of all, after the wasp is captured at the crime scene, it's necessary to remove the sting so that nothing remains in the wound, just like with a bee. Then you should treat the affected area with garlic juice or just make garlic gruel compress. For a better effect, carry out the procedure twice a day. If it's not possible to remove the whole sting, the bite area will begin to fester and inflame. To avoid this, you should mix the garlic gruel with honey in equal parts, fold it in the form of a bandage and apply it to the affected area. You can relieve the itching that appears after a wasp bite using parsley sap or a piece of a raw potato. If the bite have been scratched badly, the basil decoction may be used. To make it, boil 2 tablespoons of dried raw basil leaves for 5 minutes in half a liter of water. Then cool the resulting liquid and drink 125 milliliters of it, which is half a glass, 3 times a day. At the same time, treat the bite mark with the decoction. You may even add it to the water in your bath, since it will have a beneficial effect on your general condition. Horsefly. If you are unfamiliar with this pesky insect, these are large dark flies. They are most active during the daylight hours, particularly in summer. You can generally recognize a horsefly by its size, about an inch long. Horseflies can also be distinguished by their color. The upper part of a horsefly is white in color, typically marked by a few vertical black lines. Horseflies are found throughout North America and are highly concentrated in hot, humid states such as Florida. Horseflies attack large mammals such as humans, dogs and of course horses. They are most attracted to moving objects and dark objects. They are also attracted to carbon dioxide. This may explain why all of those outdoor summer activities that get you breathing heavy and sweating seem to bring out the horseflies. Horsefly bite causes a sharp burning sensation. It's common to experience itchiness, inflammation and swelling around the bite area. You may even develop a bruise. Aside from the momentary pain, horsefly bites generally are not harmful to humans. These bites are usually only a problem for horses. This is because horseflies carry equine infectious anemia, also known as swamp fever. When they bite an equine animal, they can transmit this life-threatening disease. If you're bitten by a horsefly, cleanse the bite and apply over-the-counter antiseptic spray or ointment to help keep the wound clean and decrease irritation and itchiness. In most cases, a horsefly bite can heal on its own in a few days. Be sure to watch the area for signs of an infection, such as excessive pus or foul odor. If you have any unusual symptoms, you should consult your doctor. Certain insect bites can cause more serious reactions. If you have difficulty breathing, a rash that spreads or worsening pain, you should seek medical attention. If your bite hasn't healed within a week, or if you're experiencing unusual symptoms such as dizziness or worsening pain, you should consult your doctor. They can assess your bite and determine any next steps. Bugs. True bugs usually inflict multiple bites, three to five bites at a time, that result in chains of red spots. The distance between bites can vary from two to four centimeters. As soon as bug bites are found on the body, first of all, wash the affected skin area with cool water and soap or a solution of soda. It will relieve the itching. Then place an ice cube on the affected area. Treat the skin with parsley sap or a potato decoction. Areas with bites may also be treated with garlic juice, which will prevent swelling and relieve irritation. The other folk remedies that may help are dandelion stalk, bird cherry, fleawort sleeves and cut onion. Flea. Flea bites are pretty distinctive. 
They look like small red bumps in clusters of three or four or a straight line. The bumps remain small, and like mosquito bites, flea bites are very itchy, and the skin around each bite may become sore or painful. You may experience hives or develop a rash near the site of a bite. Scratching a lot can further damage the skin and potentially cause a bacterial infection in the area of the bite. Avoid scratching if you can. Monitor your bites for signs of an infection, including white top blisters or a rash. For humans, the risk of contracting another disease from the flea is very small. Yet bacteria can get into your body through the bite and cause an infection, especially if you scratch it. An infected bite will turn red, warm, and it may release pus. Flea bites can also cause an allergic reaction in people who are sensitive to them. Symptoms can range from raised welts on the skin to breathing difficulties. Flea bites will go away without treatment. To relieve the symptoms of flea bites, try over-the-counter anti-itch creams and antihistamines. Avoid scratching the area. If you notice any signs of an infection at the bite site, such as white pocket or rash, make an appointment to see your doctor. Lice While lice often prefer to live on the head than on the other parts of the body, there are species that settle in other areas with hair. The bite of this insect leads to a severe painful itch followed by redness. You may still feel itching for some time, even after the parasites have been removed from the body. The itching may cause nervous disorders or insomnia. To avoid it, the areas of lice bites should be treated with vodka or one-to-one -one alcohol water solution. This will prevent the spreading of infection deep into the epidermis. If the methods mentioned above have not helped and the itching has not stopped, hospitalization may be required. Finally, here are some tips that will help you avoid small parasites and insects both indoors and outdoors. When going to a park or forest, put on the clothes of light color. If necessary, add more zinc-containing food in your diet. The lack of this element in the body may attract insects. Don't use perfume, deodorant, aftershave or any other product containing fragrances before going outdoors, as strong odors attract insects. Apply Vaseline oil on the open areas of the body before going outside. That's all we wanted to tell you today. On this channel, you will find videos about the benefits of vegetables and fruits, about various diseases and ways of treating them, as well as everything about housekeeping and gardening, so make sure to subscribe to the channel and ring the bell. Like the video if you enjoy it and share it with your family and friends. See you soon!